Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And uh, we're going to show you a fix video today. Uh, right now I've got sick, 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 <laughs> and sick. This one quit running. This one, I ain't never seen it do this before, but it's not good. Yeah, I got the starter off. <clears throat> anyway, what we're working on is that pole right there. Let me turn this music off before I get a freaking strike against me for piracy. Got the bluegrass going a little bit. Anyways, my shop is tore up. I got stuff everywhere. <laughs> Working on that damn thing. I gotta pull the motor off of it and fix this motor to put on it. I need to trim a tree and my landlord brought this to me and I said, how do you expect that thing to cut a limb when the blade is broke off of it? blade is broke off it's supposed to come on out here and turn so i gotta make that piece so i've already got the link off of it and basically to take that off you just uh, unbolt this and pull that free and then you pull it out straight and then you just kind of cock it a little bit so that these pins would get closer together because they latch on it. They got a little latch on this side and a little latch on this side. And it just snaps into that little latch. So, so then you take this off and I'll put you on a tripod here somewhere if I can find something to put you on. So I took this off, took the nut out, and Pulled the bolt, the washer hit the floor, and to get this piece off, or the link, you just kind of push them together. So I'm just kind of holding it against there and pushing it together. Now they slide on really easy, and now it's locked. Now to unlock it, you just kind of do that again and pull it off that time it was a little hard but before we do this we want to put it back together and just put the bolt in it just temporary and then we have some telltale signs of where the blade would have been. So basically I'm just gonna pull this down and then we're gonna use a pair of vice grips to hold that in place by just squeezing that rope. So now we've got it held in, in position. So now we want to try to make this piece because you can see where it had set for a long time right here and right here. So that tells me that this needs to come down to right here, over, and then back up around. And that air compressor would do that. I hate an air compressor in my shop. I hate it. I like my air compressor outside where it ain't going to interrupt me. All right, so now I've cut a piece of cardboard here. And what we're going to do is we're going to lay that right up against that. 
and we want to make sure we get past this point right here so we're going to lay that right there and then we're going to take a pencil and come in behind here and we're going to draw that but first we need to make a mark where that's going to be So I know where to go to. All right, so now we're gonna put that up on the side there and then we're gonna draw. We're gonna draw that on the back side of it, all that we can get traced. So now, we have enough on here to get us in the right location. So now we're going to take this back off after I release it. And then we're going to set it on there in the same orientation that we had it when it was on. So right there is the orientation. So we're just going to draw that out a little better. And don't forget your hole. We forgot a hole. I just said, don't forget a hole. Uh, so then we drill these, we draw these two holes. So now we've got our blade. So we're going to cut that out, and we'll be back. So now that we have this cut out, that's the way it's going to go. So we're going to take a hole punch. And we're going to hole punch right here, right in the center. All right. We're going to try to get to that one. I don't think we're going to reach it. Yep, we are. So we'll go ahead and cut that one out. And... It doesn't really matter what size this hole is because in the right metal that we're going to use, it will be right. We're just using this for a template. So we'll just go ahead and cut that out and make sure that bolt fits in there. And it does. So now we're going to take the original one. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We just need to see... how well that's going to work. All right, so we're just testing it right now just to see if it's going to do what we want it to do. And it looks to me like it's going down past the spot where it's supposed to be. So we need to go past that spot right there. And we're going past it by a pretty good bit so now i've done lost my pencil in this uh, mess hurricane i got going on here no i'm a victim of my own self <laughs> all right so we're going to put a mark right there and we want to see how far we are away from it so that'll work we might make that just a little bit heavier in this area so now we've got our template made so now we got to remake this piece right here 
So now we've got to find a piece of metal that will work for it. All right, so now we found us a piece of metal here, but we want to clean this metal up a little bit and put some tape on it. And I'm going to try to get a piece out of this. Should be pretty simple to work with so that we don't have to go around so many turns because we're going to do a bunch. This is basically going to be ground. I'll bandsaw it. I don't know. It might. I might get. Let me get my marker. So we're going to take. and draw this out with a Sharpie. All right, so now we've got it drawn out. So now we get to take it to the bandsaw and cut it out. And once we get it cut out, we'll meet you at the vise and start shaping it. So now we've got the shape, and remember I said I was going to go a little heavy here on this side. I can always take it down, but I can't add if I need to. So now we're going to transfer the holes. turn this back around put this back up in there and let's test it and see how it's going to work so it goes on just like that so we put that in Put our bolt in. And then put our spring on. I need to make that a little lighter there. So let me get a marker and mark that.
So what we're gonna do, move you guys out of my way. All right, so we need to grind a little bit more of this off right here. Make that a little lighter so we can get the spring in it easier. I can get it in there, but we'll just take it off of this. Turn it and put it in there. All right, so now we'll put our bolt back in. And now we get to test it and see how it's going to work. All right, so that means that we need to sharpen it off of this side. So all this is going to come off, nothing on the other side. So now let's sharpen that. So now i got to go cool it down again. And my chain keeps going up inside. You damn pecker. <laughs> All right. So now we've cut it a sharp edge on it. So now we'll stick that in. And now we have to stick our spring on first. Better put my washer on, huh? All right, so we'll go ahead and put our washer back on it. And then we're going to see about testing this out on a limb. You tighten that up until it's tight, and then you loosen it. I'm gonna go a little tighter than that. You just don't want a whole lot of wobble, but you want it to be able to run freely. Now, when we finish this project and do it right, we'll put a little bit of grease in there. But right now, we're just making it so we can test it out and see how it works. Let's see if we can find us something here to work on. Let's see if it'll cut. That'll work. <laughs> so, she works pretty good. Yeah, that'll work. That'll get me up there where I can get them high ones. But uh, that's what happens around here when somebody lends me a tool. They lend me a broken tool and then I fix it for them. That's how you fix. That's how you fix that. Works pretty good. So, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. You guys have a good one. Later.